In Pinellas County, findings are out in the first report from a task force created to look at how officers handle use of force. The sheriff's office was the outside agency for the investigation. Sheriff Bob Gualtieri wrote up the report. It looked into the shooting of Jeffrey Harsma on August 7th. A St. Pete police officer shot and killed him after he grabbed her around the neck. The report found the use of deadly force was lawful, but there are other aspects of the investigation that raised concerns. St. Pete police were called to French Quarter North condominiums for petty theft. The report found the officers knew Harsma had a history of mental illness, but they did not discuss handling it as a mental health call, which the report found they should have. There had been numerous calls to his condo in the past few years, eight in 2017, five in 2019, 12 this year, including one just the day before on August 6th. Today, I talked with St. Pete Police Chief Anthony Holloway about the report. Adding in an outside agency brings more um, accountability to it because you having someone else look at exactly what happened and then also some another agencies looking at other things that you may have missed. So I think this is a good thing as far as moving forward for accountability and building trust in the community saying, you know what, we're not going to look at ourselves. We're going to have somebody else look at our, look at what we've done and see what we can do to make it better. St. Pete Police is already conducting an internal investigation. The chief says the overall system failed this man and they want to make sure that doesn't happen again. Chief Holloway tells me before this report came out, they already started making some changes. He says dispatch will be different. Sergeants will be notified when officers are going to be sent to a mentally ill person, and he's making sure officers get training. Right now, they're getting mental health aid. Every officer will go through an eight hour block so they get an introduction to mental health issues. He's also looking at getting officers into crisis intervention training.